Triangle strategy from the moment I began playing the game is almost an instant classic. I have this very old theory that comes into play all the time and it goes just like this. Sometimes when you're playing a masterpiece, it is something that you know from the moment that you start playing the game. Not none of this business to where you have to play two, three, five, ten hours to finally find the genius behind the game. This is something to where the moment you start the game, it is immediately exuding all of the masterpiece all over you. And if you are a fan of JRPGs, if you're a fan of SRPGs, and if you're a fan of games that have very very strong narrative and are very story driven and are allowing you to choose options on how you can curate said story to your play style and to the way that you want to build out the world that the game developer has given you well then my friends triangle strategy is the game for you so far i am about uh seven eight ish hours into triangle strategy and honestly from like the first 10 minutes i was immediately in love with the art style with the characters that were presented with the first battle that i had went into kind of after getting really started into what triangle strategy had to offer and when it immediately kind of showed me what it was really all about and when you have to make that first decision that the game offers up to you it really really feels super impactful and when you come to find out later in the game those decisions you make in the game are actually super duper impactful and the decisions you make to do or not to do are going to give you options or take those options away as you get deeper into the game like we're going to talk about it, but this game is definitely impressive and just really, really good. And that is coming after only playing for around eight hours so far. Around, I think it's around seven hours, a little over seven hours I have. But I immediately totally vibe with this game. So if you are a fan of SRPGs, if you like the Fire Emblem series, if you loved Octopath, if strategy RPGs is something that you maybe haven't dipped your toe into, this is the perfect place to dip your toe into now obviously you have to be into the art style that it offers up with that 2d hd stuff if that's not your jam honestly stay away if srpgs you've tried them before if you've tried to get into like the fire emblem series stuff like that and that's not your jam this probably won't vibe with you too much and for those i do say go try out the demo there is a demo prologue that's available it offers around three hours or so of gameplay through the first three chapters of the game Go get a taste of it and really decide if it's something that you feel you're going to vibe with. That is my first thing to say. Now, what's up, everybody? I'm Dom, and I'm from The Game Leaders, and I'm here today to talk about my kind of first impression slash review of Triangle Strategy. We're going to actually look at the Metacritics, uh, what they're saying, where the Metacritic stands for Triangle Strategy right now. And I'm going to give you some colored commentary on uh, what I think about what reviewers are saying about the game versus my experience with this so far, and kind of maybe try and decipher what they exactly mean by some of the feedback that they have for triangle strategy so with that being said uh let's look at the let's look at the metacritic right now so metacritic right now for triangle strategy uh stands currently at a total of an 83 uh this comes from the highest of the high uh which is from nintendo world report and atomics i i don't know who or where or what atomics is i have heard of nintendo world report uh, they're uh, a YouTube channel, so if you want to go see their uh, full review of the game, you guys can go and check that out. And we're gonna we're gonna look at all the way to the bottom, uh, and we're gonna check out the the worst review for this as well we're not going to go through everything we're just going to kind of hand pick a couple of them we're going to read through them and I'll, again like i said i'll offer you guys some dialogue as to what they mean but let's go ahead and start off uh at the top uh, and at the top of the list is Nintendo World Report, and we will read this. They have it listed here that Triangle Strategy doesn't reinvent the strategy RPG genre, but it polishes it 2D HD shine. Uh, each facet of the game complements the others, and at every turn, I was left waiting with bated breath to see what would happen next. A new game plus mode unlocks after rolling credits, making it all the much easier to dive back into uncover paths yet untrod. And the second I had completed one route, I felt that overwhelming rush to see what I had missed. The grid-style turn-based combat lives up to the best of its predecessors. Well, it may lack the customizability of a job system. The cavalcade of a recruitable party members is a worthy 
your placement. Whether you're in it for the story, the gameplay, or aesthetics, the total package is one for the ages. And from any angle, the strategy is clear. Add triangle strategy to your Switch library. Maybe tell friends and family to end their turn while you're going to be busy for a while. So yeah, I totally, I totally vibe with this one here. I think this is the peak of the HD 2D art style. I definitely agree with, um, with that each decision leaves you on bated breath. There are a couple of key decisions that you'll get on within the first five or so hours of the game that immediately points you in direction A or direction B. And as you go into whichever way you go to, you're immediately wondering what you're not experiencing. So I totally vibe with this. So let's go ahead and find one that's kind of middle of the road. And we'll compare. So let's look at an 80. 80 is about middle of the road. It's 8 out of 10, right? So that's about middle of the road. Let's see if I, I recognize or vibe with any of these ones that I see here. Gaming Bible, Nintendo Insider, uh, Launcher, Washington Post. So let's look at the Washington Post. So they, they Washington Post uh, put this out at 80. They said, after spending almost 30 hours in my first playthrough, I can confidently say that we're triangle strategy truly shines it's in its world building when faced with tough decisions i felt that i had agency my choices impacted the events that unfolded throughout the game better english voice acting would have been the icicle on the cake uh though the half-baked vocal delivery left me a bit deflated so i i do get this um that is a point of contention i can see a lot of people having but here's the thing it has voice acting it has english voice acting and there's a lot of jrpgs out there as you guys know if you guys are fans of jrpgs or even srpgs a lot of them have zero voice acting which means you have to a hundred percent read so even though some of these um dialogue uh that is conveyed to us is done so as they maybe phoned it in uh it's still a pretty decent experience overall and i would say that the good voice acting very much outweighs the 30 percent bad voice acting there is some people that you'll get to and you're like wow they should have done the more important character and the more important one should have been the npc that doesn't really matter so um you will see that a lot and i do vibe with that and i, I do agree with it but again at least it's there uh, okay, let's look at the bottom one. This is from Digital Trends. So, um, Digital Trends. Let's look at more of their of their of their main review here. Uh, let's look at the top, and then we'll look at the back. So, Triangle Strategy is a laundry folding game. <laughs> That's a term I used to describe games that require so little hands-on time that you could fold and put away your entire laundry load in the time that it takes to get one gameplay. So they don't like the stories. So this is heavily story driven and a lot of dialogue and you put it on auto and it conveys all the story to you. It is so rich. It is so rich that your pockets will be lined so fat by how rich the dialogue and narrative is of the story. This person must, this must be a person who just mashes start and mashes X or A to get through the dialogue. This is the type of person who plays Monster Hunter and doesn't know what the story is about. They just get to the battles, which is totally okay to do. But maybe find somebody who likes these types of games to review it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna I'll let it go. I'll let it go. Um, let's see what they said at the end here. Um, uh, what makes Triangle Strategy's combat stand out is its emphasis on careful troop uh, placement. I do understand. Fantasy Snooze Fest. If Triangle Strategy mostly consisted of tight tactics battles, it'd be great addition to the game. Unfortunately, it's only one third of the experience. Um, yeah, so I mean, like, this person, whoever did the review here at Digital Trends, uh, they just seem to not uh, really enjoy... Uh, they just seem to not really enjoy the uh what what triangle strategy is which is a story heavy game uh triangle strategy delivers smart tactics but battles play second fiddle to install political lore which that's what we're here for the po political lore is like fire emblem like three houses it's from that era and it is so rich trust me you guys are gonna love this game but again the caveats is you have to like some of the things i've said already all right guys i'm gonna leave you guys at those thoughts there uh thank you everybody for joining uh this this review this review uh of i gave you guys my impressions at the front we looked at metacritic at the back these are my review uh this is this is the review my review roundup and my impressions let me know what you guys think about if you've played the demo let me know all your thoughts in the comments below and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out